fantastic homestand. Just, just terrific. Uh, the way the guys play the whole, the whole time. Masterson gave us what, what we needed uh, today. Having our bullpen a little short from last night, and being a guy who, who can, uh, who can, you know, carry some load and, and, and give us 120 pitches, exactly what we need of, out of him. And he gave us just that. And you know, that's something that we tell these kids once in a while when we take him out of there without 100 pitches. Uh, we're going to need those sometimes, and uh, we needed those today. He was, he was very good. He uh, dialed it up after that second inning and just uh, had right. He's beating the ball on the ground. Very good stuff. Um, our bullpen came in and you know, also did their job. Derby got a huge out on, Inge, on, on Brandon Inge, and uh, then our offense, you know, can't say enough. Those guys never give up, put quality of bats against, um, you know, some good arms that they have in the bullpen. And, and again, meant make things happen today. Orlando Cabrera and uh, Michael Brownlee again got some big hits. Um, it does a lot for their confidence. I mean, winning breeds confidence in, in, in any way, but uh, the fact that we've been able to come back uh, in, uh, in just about every one of, the, of this game and, and play so well in the homestand can only breed more confidence. And we wanted to play good at home, uh, and, and we did, because West Coast is always tough, and we're going on the road, face some good pitching, but uh, we accomplished what we wanted to do at home. So. Uh, Let's go to the West Coast and, uh, and battle over there. You talk about the, you know, spreading out this division a little bit more. I mean, six wins against two divisional opponents is big. Well, that's very important because, you know, those games, uh, obviously, they, 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 they count for us uh, very good. And uh, last year, we, we struggled with, uh, with a couple of teams in our division. We played OK against these guys, 500. And, uh, and and we play good against Kansas City, but the, uh, Minnesota and and uh, and the White Sox got the best out of us. Uh, and uh, it's always good to play uh, this way against our division. And you know, it's uh, it's, it's it's a long way to go. Uh, we know we're going to see him a lot, but uh, our kids right now are feeling pretty good. And let's keep it going. Yeah, that was the plan. He was going to go on that in and up until uh, he faced Cabrera. You know, he made he made good pitches on on Kelly. He just blooped the ball over uh, to right field, and um, then he ended up hitting Cabrera there. But that was the whole plan: uh, get a, at least 120 pitches out of him, and and that in and get him up to Cabrera. Did you? What, what were the warnings? Hey, you know, nowadays uh, they, they, they really want to keep control of the game. Uh, I, didn't, I didn't think, you know, any of the guys were throwing at, at the hitters. I mean, uh, Phil, he wouldn't be hitting Michael with the, you know, with a runner on third, left on left to, to get to a righty who just hit the ball off the wall off of him. But, you know, one, once Masterson, you know, hit Santiago, I understand the umpire. They, they try to keep control of the game. And uh, I also think that, you know, Tim Welke handled things very well. I thought it was a great judgment by him when, when Masterson hit Cabrera because under no cir circumstances, uh, you know, he was trying to hit him. Because, I mean, he could have thrown him out, right? Yeah, be but the, the rule doesn't say that just because you have a warning, you got to throw a guy out because he hit somebody. It's, you know, he, it, it's his judgment and, and he used a very good one there. Well, I'm, I'm not worried about him uh, facing him. I mean, these guys, they're not afraid of him. Uh, it, uh, we all respect him, but I, I am. I mean, and you saw it. <laughs> you, you, saw, you saw the result, and, uh, and Miggy has earned that from me because he did it to me for years in the National League East when I was there, and to me, hands down, he's our most scary hitter in the, in, in the American League and in our division. And, you know, that situation, I, w I would prefer... Uh, having the bottom on the top of the order that we wouldn't gotten to him, you know. But the, the walk, the walk to Santiago made things interesting, and you know, Chris got the best out of Bush, which is the guy that I would rather face. Kenny, can you just talk a little bit more about going on the road? Only trip to Oakland, second time to LA. Expectations out there? Ah, uh, expectations don't change. It's you know, try to win every game, and uh, we know we have our our work cut out because those those teams have very good. You know, pitching staff, but 
that being said, our guys are throwing the ball very well, too, and we're swinging the bat well, so it's going to be interesting. Um, we're just going to have to try to take some food on the road, some home cooking, uh, and, and, and make some stuff happen over there. You know, he's using his legs better, and it, ha it has to do with him being healthier this year. He's working really hard with, with John about using the whole field and, and, and having a, a plan going up to the plate. And, you know, he's had a lot of good at-bats. Um, uh, he, he might not show his batting average, but he's had a lot of good at-bats for us, and, and that one today was huge to drive that extra run. What allows Chu to score from second? Um... The fact that he always goes hard, and we got to give credit to credit to Steve Smith too. I mean, because third base coaches are always mentioned when somebody gets thrown out at the plate. I think it was it was huge that Smitty was able to, you know, to send them there, and 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 Chu deserves credit because a lot of guys usually just shut it down and try to co coach themselves instead of allow the coach to make the decision. And Smitty and Chu deserve uh, a lot of credit for that play. <laughs> well, the way we're going right now, we, we're thinking about asking for an exemption just to, to, to play here. But, uh, you know, sorry. We're not going that good for them to change the calendar for us.